Right, uh, in this video, let's discuss extensively on how you can use your bottlenose attachment for industrial machine. Note, it is for industrial machine, not for domestic sewing machine like all those J221 or J222, all those brands. No, it's specifically for industrial machine, model 8500, 8600 or 8700. So let's proceed as quick as possible for proper time maximization. Now, if you can see, we have this machine in it. We have this machine. We have this flat plate. We have this flat plate. After the flat plate, then you have a clip bar. You have a nylon bar there, or you have different screws inside it. Now you will be will be discussing extensively on how you can use each of these screws. The screws that are just extra, and how you can get it as fast as possible. Now let's go. After you remove your needle from the machine. Majority of industrial machines are fond of having this clip of which I've removed from this machine. Let me show it to you. Now, you will see this kind of something on your machine. If you're having this on your machine, you have to remove it. This is where you see it. It's always around there. This is how it will be. So if you're having this on your machine, you have to remove it first. Make sure you remove it so wow this is getting that back let me remove it you can see the way i'm moving it also that's the way you remove it it's very easy to remove so after you remove it now there is this screw in your bag this screw you can see it's the only screw that is having a hole inside it so in your machine we have two we have the hole for the knot and the other hole Bring close the camera. So we have two holes. We have a O here, and uh, we have another O here. This one is for the nuts of sewing machine. Why this other one is for your is for what we are about to use now. Now let's see how it will go. You bring out these nuts, not losing it absolutely. You bring this out, then you bring it in here and tight it. To the second O, it will enter the second O. It will enter the second O. It will enter the second O. That one is this side is very very important. Pay attention to it. This other O. So when you put it in this other O, then you cannot bring your needle back to the equation. It will be very very easy for us to use. Bring your needle back to the equation, then you knot it. This might look kind of cumbersome for you, but just pay close attention to it. It's very, very easy. As you can see, I'm losing it back. So just this guy can go up for Papa in putting on this. Okay, the screw is there properly now. So we bring this back and return it to its normal position. So that's that. Now let's screw the let's screw the needle. Now in this why you're using your button? Let's screw the needle. Now, in this, why you're using your button? No, you don't change. You are using the normal needle for your machine. You know, it does not require a special needle for it to function. Your normal DB, regardless of the size, it can be 14, it can be 16, it can be oh, 18. We have 18, we have 16, and we have. All right, that's that. Now, after you've properly fixed these two, let's proceed. You have to remove this foot presser. You have to remove this foot presser. So you have to remove the foot presser and let's start a new journey. Now, 
I'm using a bag and this 8500. If your machine is 8500, don't bother of putting this guy there. But if it is 8700, you must put it. So when you put 8700, even if 8700, this teeth is kind of high. Why are you using 8700? That if you do not put this guy there, it will not work perfectly. So this machine is 8500, regardless of who is using this or we are not using it, the machine will still work fine. So this is how you set it. You bring it down, make sure it's sizing your Use the needle to set it. After you use the needle to set it, it has a screw. It has a screw. So let's size it. So that's one. Now, we want to put our machine. If you notice, your machine is having this space here, one, and this guy too. You must pay attention to this side, it's very, very important. To move this screw off, this is the normal screw on your industrial machine, move it out. Then, this screw is inside your nylon bag the bag given to you for the machine so All right, that's it. Always confirm with your machine. So now we fix the machine properly. Now we have, we have to explain some things to ourselves. First of it is the machine itself. The machine itself has different specific functions. Now, this side is where we determine the length of what we're about to do. We have the small length, you can pay close attention to it. We have X here, we have X here, you can see, and we have L down it. X, L. This signifies more white, this signifies the old, the large. That's one. Two, let's check other things here. This depth stitches. This size determines how the width of your machine, how you want the, the space you want in between the buttons. Sometimes you want it slim, sometimes you want it really, really wide. So like when you are doing something of length, now this length, maybe the longest something here, you need a very wide uh, width for it so that the bottom can enter it easily 
so it will have to come to this left side if it is for just short you can just put it anywhere so now let's see it has two sides of depth i will do everything with practical it has the n here and it has the w here this side signifies the close side why this side is the width side well, i mean the wider the wider side of it as you can see now so let's start practicalizing what we are what i'm explaining So, lastly, before I put in the clothes, if you notice, it's possible, it's possible your, uh, it's possible your machine, maybe someone has tried testing it and you just have to adjust it. There is this thing rolling here. You can see the machine is answering it. Can you see that the, the position is changing down it. Now, this is just tell you that you have to bring it to the back. If you want to start it, so it can start from the right point. So if I leave this close at the center here, yeah, you'll be surprised that it just do the half work. So you have to bring it to the back, as you can see. So now I'm deciding that I want to do the, the, the longer, the longer one. Eh? Let's start. Okay, <clears throat> now let's do the practical aspect of it. As you can see now, our machine is properly fixed. We've plugged in this, and note, why plugging it in this side must be there. Let me show you a bit. So, you see, it's very important. If this guy is not connected to so this, that's why we put this black knot uh, not here. This thing must be here, it must be moving with it. So, Lastly, before I put in the clothes, if you notice, it's possible, it's possible your, uh, it's possible your machine, maybe someone has tried testing it and you just have to adjust it. There is this thing rolling here. You can see the machine is answering it. Can you see that the, the position is changing down it. Now, this is just tell you that you have to bring it to the back if you want to start it. So it can start from the right point. So if I leave this stuff at the center here, yeah, you'll be surprised that it just do the half work. So you have to bring it to the back, as you can see. So now I'm deciding that I want to do the, the, the longer, the longer one. Eh? Let's start. Okay, <clears throat> now let's do the practical aspect of it. As you can see now, our machine is properly fixed. We've plugged in this, and note, why plugging it in this side must be there. Let me show you a bit. So, you see, it's very important. If this guy is not connected, so this, that's why we put this black knot uh, not here. This thing must be here, it must be moving with it. That's how it must be. And if you notice, I'll sideline this guy because one thing is we are using 85700 it's not important that's one two in case you have a punctured plate here yeah, you can't use it again your machine just be cutting to breaking the thread and it will make you have a very rough work so let's test this you know i put it at the L side which is the longest part of this let's see how it works Can see I'm making it very slow for you so you can see how it works. It can be faster than this for the course of the video. Now that's it. Successfully drop one button hole. That's one. And please don't forget. You must have put in your what hard stay, not light stay. Hard stay. After you are done, you can remove your stay. Hard stay. That's one. So let me do. Let me let's mix a a, a we need to change this on our work. Let's assume we don't want to have this long vertical. So let's bring it up a bit. Now I'll bring it to the middle now. 
this is the middle of it let's see how it will work remember i discussed this with you so let's start I have a good price. These are the price it's a bit thicker. It's just like oh the train went off. But you can go twice. And when you go twice, you notice you have a very clean job. Now comparing the length of this to this, you can see it's different. This is a bit shorter to this. 